simple interrupted um, suture. So first we take the needle. So this is a skin? Yes. Pull it so through the we... skin. It's on practice. Mm -hmm. And thread it through. And over here, if you can see that there's um, more through it, and that's what I've been practicing previously. Some of them I, I've i been shown by others, but um, most of them I've done because I've been practicing more than more than the uh, actual productions. It's like I was taking an exam for this. I think that's enough, isn't it? And we can make it a bit big because while we're doing an, the the side to last step, it could get a bit unloopy and you could ruin the whole stitch. So um, stay tuned to see that bit. And so the next step is to make it easier if well if you're um confident you could try it without opening the wound but uh, the actual way is to open the wound so you actually get it inside and then at the perfect where you think there's the perfect um perfect space to um, take the needle out, hold this, and then you get this big loop out. And in case it goes on the edge of the foam, or wherever you're using to practice on, or if you're on a real human, human, it won't harm, but I'm practicing on a paper, on foam, then, so you put your finger on that small line, which we showed before, and then we go through all of these loops. Okay, so now that we've done that, we can put this thing down and we take these special scissors. They don't cut, they snip and hold. And you can also close them and open them up. And if you don't know how to open them up I like me at first, you just snip them back. So like, my hands are like this, you go like that. So now let's go back to the stitch, the sutures, and let's go the loopings as I was talking about before. So one, two, three loops first. And I'm going to make this a bit longer mm -hmm. for the loopings. Oh, they've come off. I'll fix that. One, two, and three. Oh, it's coming out. Not fully. And take the very, and then you can take the very edge of the small line. It makes it any easier. This line keeps on, this loop keeps on coming on. So you can keep it under. And then if you can find... This big line here should be hiding right underneath another big line, but it's the one underneath. And then you take this one, and then you go like, take into one loop, go a bit to, to, to two sides, and like it's looking. And then once it goes, it's nearly down, take it to that side. And... We made a stitch. Now the second part is to make sure that the um, wound is completely secure and the um, the the skin will get completely sewed together, like like a sewing machine with sewing a, mm -hmm. um, a piece of clothing. Mm -hmm. You would make second loop and mm -hmm. first loop. So one two loops now hmm. and snip the edge again but don't snip it off it won't snip off because um you can hold as hard as you can because this hmm. this type of scissors does not cut hmm. and then if it doesn't pull that as hard as you expect you could use your hands for a small moment and now as i was saying before you could get the one loop and one 
one and the edge very very edge of it and the so now as you can see there's a full stitch there so now to keep things clean body clean and things aren't getting messy with this thread here and you can be careful with this needle if you have like a table here mm. next to you you could just put the needle on there because you don't want anything affecting the skin or anything yeah, like that so you could um, snip off the excess and move the needle and move a bit of thread like the excess and snip it i would say about that much mm -hmm. not too short to like that much and not too long like that much i think this much is about enough and then you can do the same to the other one but the other one has to do um a bit longer i think that's better so it can be more secure and just to make sure you can pull this a bit and pull this a bit and now the stitch is fully ready okay. <clears throat>